I am at Polka Boko at Kyoto Zwang Pro Gion Festival. And this is one of just, there's just a few hoko in the festival that don't allow women to go onto the floats. Not not every float allows people to go on, but of the ones that do, uh, most are co-ed, so to speak. This is an all-male festival, and uh, officially, during the processions, the uh, people on the float, the people pulling the float, those are all men. The, the official participants are, are all men. And that's changing slowly. So uh, women are taking more and more support roles and more and more responsibility roles of responsibility. And uh, some folks are quite vocal about their support for women's participation. Some are more quiet. They allow uh, have women participate and maybe just don't talk about it. This is a kind of classic. Kyoto style approach. If you don't talk about it, then nobody else talks about it, and it doesn't become a problem. Anyhow, uh, I'm here at Hokaboko, and a little girl, a little Japanese girl, just said, "What do you mean I can't get on? Why not?" And I had to laugh because times have really changed. When I first started coming to this festival 25 years ago, nobody questioned if you couldn't get on. You just couldn't get on, and you sat and waited there patiently for your husband or your sons or whoever to uh, get go on and, and come back. So it's, it's interesting to watch this dance between the preservation of tradition, which is partly how this festival survived for 1,100 years, and then the adaptation to different sensibilities of modern life. Let's go on that. Uh, Let's hook up or go behind me. <laughs> For more information, see guionfestival.org.